Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to put your HTML code for the content editor in a separate file, thus allowing you to separate your code and work more efficiently when you're doing some JavaScript hacks on your SharePoint online site pages. So I'm going to edit this page, and as you see, I put some code in a content editor web part there. And to get into that code, it's a few clicks. And it's a bit slow, so I'm gonna uh, put this uh, use the content link instead. So I'm gonna go into edit source first. Just take my code there. So I'm gonna take that out, or just copy that, and then I'm gonna go into my site contents. Open a new window. That's fine. And then I'm gonna go into site assets and open that in um, with Explorer. And I'm gonna create a new text document. And I'm just going to call that htm, because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be partial HTML code, at least. So I'm going to edit that with uh, Notepad for now. And just put my code in there. It's fine. Save. And then I'm going to copy that URL. Put it in my link there. And then what did I call it again? I called it, rename that, copy the entire name just to get it exactly right. There we go. I'm going to apply that. See, it didn't make any change. It's still displaying that click me button, but save. Now it still works as it should, hello world, but if I go in and edit this file now, site assets, I'm going to edit that with um, notepad for example there, and I'm going to call that click me too, just to make a small different change there, save, back to my page, refresh, click me too, hello world, there we go. So of course that makes it a lot simpler just working with the file instead of working with the content editor web part all the time. You can of course take this many many steps further, but I just wanted to show you how to get started. Thank you for watching this demo.